I am going to do a quick Q&A before I start the video and I usually do this so you guys get to know me better and really have a close look about my life and who I am and I want to get closer to you guys. I'm not the greatest with Q&As on video. I haven't really done them a lot on my YouTube but I wanted to do this because I know you guys love watching my videos and want to learn from me or get value off of me. I am so happy to give, you know, my outlook or anything that I believe in and I hope it helps people and gives someone some sort of value. And that's what the power of YouTube is. I got AI and I actually got some questions that's easier for me to like kind of just get off the bat so I can answer some of these interesting random questions about anything basically and I asked ChatGBT about that which is funny we have AI which is really great but it's really funny how we're using AI nowadays but it has been super helpful to me this topic for this Q&A is early life and childhood so there's some like few questions that I actually got from here and then here is the first question what is your earliest childhood memory and why does it stand out to you <laughs> My earliest childhood memory. Um, my earliest childhood memory has to be when my family really talked about their haunted stories and their experience with the paranormal. That has really stuck to me till this day and really has steered me to my interest in today. I have this huge interest in haunted stuff, paranormal, and learning about it and really getting to dive in about what is this paranormal life that we live in. Both my parents, but mainly my mom's side, experienced a lot of paranormal when they lived in the Philippines. And that's how I really was just like, wow, this is either fake or real. But when I found it, it was more real to me is because when I got the information from my auntie, my uncles, my grandpa, and my mom would always talk about these stories and the same stories would reoccur every time I would be with them. They would gossip about it during trips. And it really made me believe and really dive into question and really understand the paranormal. But also, other than that, we would watch horror movies and that would be really interesting. There, they my my family is super into horror and I love horror. That's just exactly where I got my horror fanatic from. This was my family. We would binge watch horror and gossip about paranormal. And that's basically how my life and my childhood went about. We would also visit these haunted locations. I was so interested and I loved vintage. It just made me love the history and getting into vintage, antique objects, or just anything where it has history involved. The paranormal community has that sort of interest where it revolves around that. That's how I kind of just grew this love for it or interest in it. What was your favorite activity game to play as a child? That's hilarious. Well, when I was a child in my childhood years, I grew up in like, you know, the old era where the internet kind of just started. We had that old squared computer. I think it was like this, oh, Dell? Dell or something like that. It's just so old school. It wasn't even a Macintosh but um, me and my sisters, we lived in this really tiny house and then we downloaded MapleStory. So I was a complete nerd. Um, I first grew into like gaming and stuff like that because my sisters actually knew so much about it and we kind of like got into Gaia Online on the internet and Neopets and we got into MapleStory which is a um, online game RPG. You get to dress up your character, fight little kawaii characters and they're so cute. They have like cute cute faces on them and really cool power. So we got super addicted to Maple Story. Oh my gosh, like that was basically the game that got me hooked. <laughs> and plus those were one of the old RPG games from back in that time. I think that's the early 2000s. And we would fight over playing Maple Story on the computer to take turns. I kind of hated that because I, we didn't have our own computer, but we had to share like one computer together. And we, we only had like one internet on one computer. So that was a tough time. We didn't have cell phones, but that's how I started my fandom and my geekiness was through gaming. When I started gaming, I was probably like eight years old, eight years old when I started, which is 
a very young age. Did you have a best friend growing up? And what made your friendship special? I had childhood friends. I don't know if I had a best friend and it stuck through the whole time because, you know, we got busy. We couldn't have time to hang out. But I do have childhood friends that stuck with me till this day from elementary till now. And they're twins and they're two guys and their name is Marshall and Mark. And they are so nice. I love them to death. One of them is going to the military and it makes me sad, but I know that in life we gotta do what we gotta do, but I take them so special to my life despite, you know, us not hanging out as much. But anyone that comes into my life, I always, I always make them very special and they are special to me either way. I don't mind if we're separate from time to time. Uh, when we come back together, it's always a good time with them. What is a funny or embarrassing story from your childhood? I was in elementary and this was actually kind of scarred me till this day, but it wasn't that bad, but it was one thing that I will definitely remember forever. So I was in class and I really needed to go to the bathroom. I asked the teacher and I headed out to go towards the bathroom. But as I was walking there, I was dancing because I was really trying to hold my pee. I needed to pee like really, so I had to do this really weird dance movement and then the janitor caught me dancing and he was laughing and I was like so embarrassed at that age. I think it was like five years or six years old or seven years old or yeah six years old five years old. That very moment I hated it because I was only young. I didn't know what was happening but it made me embarrassed at that age. But it was a good moment. It was a funny moment and I'll remember that forever. How did your childhood environment influence you who you are today? So this one's gonna be a quick one. I don't want this to be too long but my influence was when I was bullied. I was bullied a lot in my elementary school and I was like only five, six, seven years old. That kind of created me who I am today. I, when I got bullied, I decided to really question life and really change my life to be the better person I am. You'd be wondering like, wow, being bullied, you could have grew up really terrible, right? But for me, it changed my life and I won't get in too much detail, but it made me question about whether there's good in life or there's bad in life. And I really chose to really ask those questions like if there is bad in life, which is me being bullied Getting you know, you know depressed everything like that I really questioned the good and I really understood from that moment time on was that I believed in the good There's got to be good and I knew that you could reach for it and being bullied really kind of I don't know how to say it, like pushed me to really reach out for what's good in life because I don't know It's really hard to explain because in the inside side of myself, it just really moved me in that sort of way. And from there, from now on, I just wanted to do my best to do good and share my testimony and stuff like that and hopefully help other people with that story that I had was, you know, getting bullied and becoming this person. I think that story is special and I think that story can help people and I hope it does, you know. This Q&A is kind of vague. It's not really in the best detail because I don't want this video to be too long. That is kind of how I became the person I am today was that my childhood was my childhood and my childhood was super special. Okay, so that was it for the Q&A. So let's get on to the video.